Hey, what's up guys? Cam King, Grassfed Marketing. All right, so today the video we're talking about um, how to take your prospective customers and your customers and your audience behind the scenes of what you do, right? What it is that you do, how you create the product, how you raise the product, how you run your business, what life looks like for you running your business behind the scenes. Now, the reason why this matters is because everybody loves a good story, right? Story is one of the kind of the, the most critical, influential ways that we're able as business owners, as marketers, right, as entrepreneurs, to connect with our audience. It's to, sh it's to tell them a story, tell them a story that is true, that is compelling, and that communicates our values, right? And we want to communicate our values in a way that they can resonate or that the audience can, um, can kind of receive and relate to, right? So one of the, I think one of the greatest examples out there for, for telling stories is, well, there's two examples. So uh, Krispy Kreme donuts, right, and In-N-Out Burger. If you haven't been to either Krispy Kreme or In-N-Out, I'll tell you that you should. You should go, not necessarily for the food. I don't eat out, right? Um, I do love donuts, but I, I don't eat out. And so, 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 so don't go there for the food necessarily, but go there for, and the food's delicious, I think. I don't remember. It probably is. I think it's probably good. But Go there for the experience to see how they tell the story, right? When you, the thing that they both have in common is when you pull up to Krispy Kreme, right? Like they have these big windows, right? Where you can see the donuts being made, right? The different steps. You can see how they're, um, how the, how the, the dough or whatever, how that's created and how the, you know, it goes into the oven and it's cooked and the glaze and all that stuff. And then it, it's, it's put in bags and then it's delivered right out the window, right? Um, and in and out is the same thing. You can actually see they have these massive bay windows along the drive-thru where you can see um, people like the, the team members there in and out actually putting your burger, your fries, your meal together. And so like that story, right, it satisfies the, the natural curiosity that we all have about, huh, how does this thing get to from there, you know, from point A to point B to it's just an incredible way to connect with your audience and to give them more than they are paying you for because they're not paying you for the story. That is a reason why they might start buying from you is because your story, right? It's an incredibly effective way to get first time customers to actually pull out their credit card and, and buy from you is by telling an effective story in, in a way that they, that they, that kind of satisfies their innate curiosity. And it doesn't mean when I say curiosity, it doesn't mean that we're all, you know, going about our lives and every single thing that we do and every store that we go to, every business that we buy from that we're thinking, oh, I wonder, I wonder how this is made or I wonder how this arrives from here. Uh, do they get it from China or from Pakistan? Do they grow it in their backyard or does it come from North Carolina? Like, I'm not saying that we all have that curiosity, that we're just instantly, like always kind of consistently thinking about these things. Um, but it's the same, it's the, you know, the reason why these videos are so viral, like the how it's made videos, right? Like peanut butter, how it's made, McDonald's, uh, burgers, how they're made, uh, light bulbs, how they're made, right? Like these videos go viral on online, on YouTube. Um, it's because like, I didn't even know that I wanted to know how light bulbs are made until like there was a, a video suggesting, you know, a suggested video on YouTube saying, uh, how it's made light bulbs. And I'm like, I wonder how they're made. And, uh, you know, if that video had been sponsored by GE or someone else who makes light bulbs, and then at the end they have like this call to action, right? Which essentially saying like, you know, now that you've watched the video and you know how light bulbs are made, like get your 10 pack of, you know, halogen bulbs for 40% off, right? Or buy one, get one free, or, you know, visit us on Amazon or some call to action. That'd be an incredibly effective way to sell product. So um, with those examples, though, I want you to be thinking about how you can tell your story how you can communicate your values, how you can show your audience kind of the behind the scenes, how the sauce is made, how the beef is raised, right? Like, for example, um, you know, a video that we that we did back in 2015 that um, is was really incredible for us is that we took, um, so two of us, we went to our processor and we went back into the freezer and we just showed like all the different beef and how it's packaged and how it's stored and, and uh, you know, walked them through the processor and showed them like, Everything. I mean, we didn't use words like "here's the kill floor" and "this is where the beef is slaughtered" or anything like that, because you got to think contextually of who you're talking to, and what they care about, and what they might want to know, and what they might not want to know. 
So talking about, if you sell beef, talking about kill floors and slaughter, it's not a great way to get your audience to say, to stand up and or raise their hands and say, hey, I, I feel like a big juicy burger right now. Um, instead, just satisfy the curiosity. You don't have to go into all these, like the actual details, but show them like, hey, here's the, here's the freezer. Here's where we store the beef. This is what it looks like when it comes out of the processor. It's hand wrapped in white paper and then it's deep frozen, you know, at this temperature for this long. And then it's packaged and we, we put, you know, this is how we package and show like a box, right? Like here's the dry ice that we put in or the ice pack. And, you know, here's this handwritten card that we, that we, that we put in every package. And it's handwritten by myself or my wife or my team member, my partner. And uh, it's just as a way for us to say thank you and how grateful and appreciative we are for, uh, you know, for our customers and the trust that they place in us. And then that's also an incredible opportunity for you to continue talking about what you care about, what you value, right? Like uncompromising commitment to quality, or if it's regenerative agriculture, or if it's, you know, the, the if you're super into like the chemistry of the soil or wh whatever it is, right? Whatever you care about, whatever is the reason why you do what you do. Um, this is an incredible opportunity for you to talk about it. So you could be out in the field, right? Be out in the pasture and show them like, here's the different flowers or the different weeds, you know, weeds um, or the grasses that grow naturally. And, and you know, his, this is how the ecosystem all works together, right? And you could pick up like a handful of dirt or you can pluck, like dig up some, some grass, right? And show the roots and how deep they are and talk about whatever, talk about the watershed, talk about anything that you care about that is important to you. Right, and it doesn't have to be anything. You can just be like, like I'm doing right here, like this goofy little video. Um, I've just got like my tripods right there. I'm just using a little selfie stick, so uh, it doesn't on my iPhone, right? Because I'm in a hurry. I don't have time to to set this up. I didn't even have time to go put up the tripod and everything. I'm in a hurry, so um, it doesn't have to be anything fancy. It doesn't have to be quote unquote professional or high quality. Just make a video and tell your story and put it up there, and. You know, this is what they want to know. This is, oftentimes, it's your story that kind of pushes people over the edge, that takes a prospective customer and, you know, someone who has never bought from you and actually encourages them and convinces them that they want to buy from you, right? Because when they see your story, what, what will happen often with your audience is they'll go, oh, I care about that too. Who knew? I didn't know that they cared about regenerative agriculture like I did. I didn't know that they cared about feeding families in their local community the way that I care about, um, you know, local, local food, right? And so just tell your story. Don't worry about professionalism. Don't worry about getting it right or mistakes. Just pull out your phone and make some videos and do it over and over and over again if you need to. Or a first try, like, it doesn't have to be anything special. And now with Instagram, you know, with their new long format story uh, feature, like this is an incredible opportunity for you guys to tell your stories and to put it out on Instagram, put it out on Facebook and YouTube. Um, so anyways, tell your story, connect with your audience, let them know what your values are, give them an opportunity to connect and relate with you and to, and to, to learn and discover that they, you know, that, that you care about the things that they care about. And in your video, include a call to action, right? Give them an incentive to purchase, make them an offer, say, um, you know, join our co-op or join our Beef Buyers Club today and get 30% off or, you know, whatever your offer is, but throw that out there at the end of the video so that they actually have an action to take. Or if the action is simply like, subscribe to our newsletter so that we can let you know about upcom upcoming farm tours or about chef dinners or about farm dinners or, you know, new, new products or anything. Um, another call to action could be if you have something specific like an event coming up, right, you're doing something on the farm or maybe you're speaking somewhere or... You know, you're making deliveries to a certain local neighborhood, right, in the next week. Like, include that call to action. Like, hey, don't forget to get your order in. Uh, we'll be delivering next Thursday at Montrose Park um, at 10 at 10 a.m., right? So, or we'll be at the farmer's market. Look for us at the farmer's market. We'll be on the north end, and we have a blue banner with um, an American flag out front, right? So, include a call to action in your video, but tell the story. And like everything... In business and just in life in general, you will get better, you will improve, your skill will increase as you do this more, right? Uh, one thing is for certain though, if, the, if you don't start telling your story, if you don't start making videos, if you don't start communicating, um, communicating with your audience what they want to receive from you and what they want to hear and learn from you, that you'll never get good at it. 
And while you are staying stagnant, while you are remaining the same, um, other people, your competitors, um, you know, just other people, other businesses, they will be doing this and they will get good at it. And th your audience will start you know, going to them and will become their audience and will buy from them and not you. So it's really simple, right? Like um, this isn't an option anymore and it's not difficult, okay? It's not an option. And when I say it's not an option, I mean, you have to produce content, you have to tell your story, you have to get out there and give your audience a reason to buy from you, a reason to fall in love with you, a reason to evangelize your product, a reason to um, to listen more, to listen closely, to share what, what it is that you're saying, right? And they can't do any of that if you are not putting yourself out there, if you're not making content, if you're not creating videos, uh, posting on Instagram or Facebook or an email, right? Like. So just get out there, communicate your story, show them behind the scenes, show them how you make the sauce, how you raise the beef, how you, you know, steward the land and the animals, how you, how your family, you know, gets up early and you read scriptures in the morning before you go out and do your farm chores. Like these things matter. So um, they matter to you, to your family, and they will matter as you communicate them to your audience. And you will, you'll benefit. Your business will grow. And also you'll be able to help the customers and the audience that you desire to serve you'll be able to get your product into their hands and to help them with the things that they want help with, right? Which, whether it's feeding their children, whether it's um, their personal health goals, whether it's just having peace of mind, knowing that there's food on the table and there's you know, reserves in the freezer. So you owe it to them and you owe it to yourself and to your business to do what works. And this is what works. And this is what will continue to work going into the future. So don't wait, don't procrastinate. Um, start today. All right, Cam King, Grass Fit Marketing. I'll see you guys tomorrow with another video. Bye.